Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Sportsnet News baseball show as we check in on the Toronto Blue Jays making some small, not sexy moves, but moves that could help them in the depth department as they compete for the AL um, East. And that is by adding good minor league pitcher that has had some success in the bigs, but has to just hone in his pitches more, Joe Biagini, a guy that looked like he could have had some success as a big power hitter, at least bench style power hitter and chip in platoon power in Greg Bird, and then also Eric Stamets, who's just very good for the Buffalo Bison, great career minor league player, uh, that you add as a shortstop position there. Be a genie for me, starting with him. He throws a fastball, changeup, curveball, uh, sinker, and slider. That's five pitches. He's a guy at this point of his career is more if he's going to make it in the bigs as a reliever. Obviously, as a reliever, you don't need five pitches. You need maybe three and then the best ones do mix in the fourth and the fifth because they're able to control everything and have command and hone us over the zone of all five. But be a genie's not in that category. He's in, again, the not big move category that might become a good depth move for a team like the Toronto Blue Jays, or at least he will be a very good pitcher, most likely for the Buffalo Bison. So he's a guy that I think if he can hone in, say he goes slider, sinker, change up if he wants to use a sinker because you're always going to have a four seamer that you can throw in in the back of your mind as that mix in fourth pitch that can hone him in a little bit more if he goes four seamer slider change up or something that can hone him in more because you're focusing on three main pitches I think that's the big thing Joe Biagini needs to do to have success not just in the minor league level but up at the major league level he has to hone in his pitches more and just focus on three main ones and then mix in a fourth if you want to but you don't even really need that as a reliever and then when it comes to um, Greg Bird, he's a guy, one, has to stay healthy because he is a good power hitter um, that can bring power off of your bench, but also as a backup DH, he could be used as well. So mixed in as a bench piece and a backup DH, that's a two for one there. Plus, um, he also is a guy that also played first base fairly decent when he first started. It's just I don't see him being used in that category. It's not like he was a random slouch that they threw at first base that really just couldn't field over there that you had to use at the DH position. Uh, he was maybe a little bit below average, but more borderline towards average fielder that you could put in the field. We see worse guys uh, definitely in the field nowadays. Let's just put it that way. But he's a guy that I think is a good depth guy to bring in for power off the bench. I think he's a guy that if he can stay healthy, has a chance to make the Blue Jays roster and be that power off the bench. And then be a genie. He has the best chance to make the Blue Jays roster out of all three of them because I don't see Stamets making it. He's more of just a, a good career minor leaguer uh, and he's just a depth piece if they need him. But he has the best chance to make it be a genie if he can just hone in his pitches and not have 800 different pitches being five as a reliever and hone it into kind of three. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of Sports Fan News Baseball Show as we check in on what the Toronto Blue Jays did as some solid, good, small moves. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.